Hello again and welcome to Last to Fray today where we answer some of the frequently asked questions on the ongoing eruption of Last to Fray volcano in St. Vincent. And with us today is our current scientific team lead, Mr. Lloyd Lynch, who's an instrumentation engineer at the UE Seismic Research Center. Hi Lloyd, how are you doing? I'm fine, Stacey. Great, excellent. And so we haven't had a Last to Fray today episode in some time, mostly because as you know, we've gone into an explosive phase and of the eruption and we would have had regular daily updates on our social media. Now that things are kind of scaling down a little bit, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to start back our Last to Fray today program so that we could again get in touch with our, our viewers and hear some of the questions that they're asking. So Lloyd, before we get into exactly what you're doing on island, can you just give us a very general update on what's happening at the volcano? Right, Stacey, thank you. Um, so it's generally believed among the scientific community that we have seen the worst. In other words, the worst is behind us. So the volcano is um, pretty much simmering down. Good. Um, I've had the opportunity to visit the observatory on Friday evening, um, late Friday evening, and I went back on on um, Saturday morning. Well, actually Saturday and about noon. And um, both days were, were pretty clear. It's still steaming a lot. Uh, we also saw some pictures from, uh, I think, what was a commercial aircraft. Someone on board took some pictures. And um, we saw the, a very large um, open crater area, small crater lake, um, again, with lots of steam venting. So um, there's still some residual activity. And based on the, the, what we know from history, um, we have seen in the past where after major eruptions, uh, within a month or two, um, there were smaller explosions. So the volcano should still be considered to be dangerous. Maybe not very dangerous um, to, to, to people in the lower flanks, but certainly to those who may um, want to play tourists, Mm -hmm. and go up to see what happened. And even us, the scientific team, who may um, venture up to um, replace instruments that we have lost during the eruption. That's a very important point, and I'm glad you mentioned that we're still um, trying to let people know, in, in partnership with Nemo, of course, that visits to the summit of the volcano uh, is still uh, only authorized visits are, are allowed because it is still dangerous. The eruption is still ongoing. Explosions can happen at, at any time. Um, and so, Lloyd, what are you doing while you're on island? I know you're there for about a month. And um, and just for our viewers, Lloyd is, is the person who's really in charge of our seismic network in terms of keeping the instruments going throughout the region and so forth. So tell us a little bit about why you are currently on island. Yes, Stacey. So my team really is responsible for putting the bell on the cat, so to speak. Good. So um, during the eruptions, the, the, the explosive eruptions, we lost everything we had at the summit. So that included um, two cameras, one at the seismic um, station and one that we had on the uh, pan tilt zoom camera that we had on the summit, um, a seismometer, a GPS, and we also lost access to two important um, monuments where we used to go to take measurements at um, Jacob's Well and Table Rock. Um, further down, we lost um, the northern stations in Olia and Fancy because of um, disruption in the electrical connection, the power connection to those areas. So my role here, um, and I shouldn't just say my role, because um, I do have a highly competent team of 
persons, local and, and, um, and colleagues from Montserrat um, working with me, is to restore some of those um, monitoring sites that we have lost. And we'll also take the opportunity to, to try to improve it better than before, you know, build up better. Of course. That term. Good. So basically, we want to, to at least try to restore a station in the north. So we try to get our way back on stream. We have plans to put in four new seismometers. And of course, we also will try to restore some of the seismic, um, the summit instrumentation that were lost. Good. Apart from that, we um, will put in two new instruments that were not um, in our arsenal before. We call these um, tilt meters. Um, before we had a range of uh, a number of um, continuously operating GPS reference stations that used to detect ground deformation, right, the swelling of the ground. Now we are putting in some additional sensors that are much more sensitive than the GPS. A tip meter, if you consider a rod, a solid rod that is half a mile long, and you stick a 10 cents underneath it, the tilt meter could detect that small change. So it's a very, very sensitive instrument. This should significantly improve our early warning capability. Mm -hmm. We should see if any new magma is coming into the ground and, and you know, be able to raise any alert or alarm. So Lloyd, um, people may be wondering then in the interim what's happening and how are we able to sort of still keep watch on the volcano um, while you're getting the network up and running? How are we still able to continue our monitoring efforts? Well, actually that was one of our major concern. We actually lost a lot of capacity um, during the eruptions. You know, we estimate that um, when we don't have the, for example, um, Bamboo Range and, and Georgetown, um, as well as the OEA and Fancy, we were down by the order of about 63% in capacity. Um, uh, the, the loss of the summit stations, for example, diminished, diminished our capability to even tell what is going on inside the crater because you do need instruments very close to the dome to detect dome growth. Good. So that's why it's very important to, 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 to um, put on this restoration effort. Good. But we didn't totally lose um, all capability. We still had stations at Bamboo Range and Walibu, which are on the flanks of the volcano. So we were still able to, to see um, some of the, the, the low level seismic activity, but not as much as when you have stations um, on the crater near the flank. And so who are some of the um, um, partners that we're working with to, to get this, the network back up and running? Right, so we have Mr. Cameron Alexander and Mr. Asroy Price from um, Nemo, good. There have been two technicians who also helped with the installation of the um, enhanced network at the beginning of the- From the, the onset in December. Onset, mm -hmm. Right. And um, being um, currently employed with Nemo, they are also charged with the responsibility to maintain the network throughout the years, good. And um, we brought down another um, intention colleague in Tycho, Carlisle Williams, who works at the Montreal Volcano Observatory, to partner with us to help in this effort. And I know yes. that, the... sorry, we'll Lloyd. Also, mm -hmm. we, we'll also need um, 
assistance from a number of um, a number of partners. Um, some we haven't approached as yet, but since we will need to dig some post holes from as deep as ten meters, we will try to to um, to ask Vinlek that probably has some of those augers to help us with the um, digging of some of the holes. There is a another um, company runs run by um, this guy Rudy, who helped us to dig the hole for the bamboo range station back in March. Um, we, we, they did a very good job, so we hope to approach them. Um, we have um, Bragster also that has many capable people, so. Um, there's no shortage of um, of skills to undertake what we want to do. Thanks very much, Lloyd, and, and thanks for that update. And we look forward to um, catching up with you again next week to learn about progress and so on. So thanks again for your time and thanks our viewers for watching. And we remind that visits to the summit of La Soufre are still prohibited at this time. The eruption is ongoing and it is still dangerous and that the official sources of information on the last Sufra eruption are the NEMO and the UESRC. Thanks everyone and take care. Very well. <laughs>